Welcome, Pisces. Welcome back, guys. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I know it has been a minute since you guys have, pro have probably seen me. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's get into June. I'm, I'm really, really stoked to see what June has in store for us, Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising video, okay? So if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you can apply this to you, okay? It's not going to apply for everyone. If it applies, that's good. If it's for you, if it doesn't, let it fly, okay? If you are new to the channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, so you don't want to miss out on what's to come, all right? So let's look into Pisces, okay? Let's just get a general feel of what's coming towards my Pisces. Let's see what messages we have for the month of June. And what messages we have for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Give me the overall energy for Pisces. We got you guys' energy jumping right out the high priestess. Okay, it looks like she's in reverse. All right, so something could be a secret. Okay, something could be in the dark. Maybe there's something that you don't know about um, or you aren't listening to your intuition. Okay, when the high priestess is upright, this is most definitely being on top of your game your intuition is all the way on 10 when it's in the reverse it's the opposite okay so maybe you guys aren't listening to your intuition on something okay and yeah see look we got uh the five of cups and the page of pentacles so this is most definitely like regretting something okay having regrets or looking back at something regretting saying something okay about a decision Maybe you feel like you didn't make the right decision on something. Okay, yeah, because see, we got look with the four of cups. Okay, so somebody's a little ticked off because they didn't make the right choice. Okay, and maybe you're feeling, you know, kind of regretful. All right, so let's see what we got here. What do we have for Pisces? All right, we got the seven of wands that wanted to jump out. And the four of swords. I see a lot of thinking. Um, some of you guys may be doing a lot of meditating. Oh no, that's just too many cards that wanted to jump out. I got King of Wands here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. I got the Chariot card here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer. All right, so let's see. Ooh, okay. You got the Knight of Cups. All right. It's something about asking something. Like your intuition was telling you to ask. Or you didn't listen to your intuition and you were supposed to act something, but you didn't. Okay, so what's, past, what's the past energy? This could be possibly in regards to a union. Okay, because I got the two of cups. And this could be something new. Okay, okay, this could be a new relationship. Um, someone new coming into your life. Um, most definitely something new, a partnership or something to that nature. Okay, maybe you're waiting on some somebody, but they're moving slow. Because, look, we got the Knight of Pentacles. We know he is taking his time to make his decisions. Okay, he's not going to move fast. He's going to do everything on his time, okay, and it's well thought out. So somebody here is, like, moving slow, and they're acting like they aren't prepared. Okay, we got the Two of Wands. Yeah, because we got the King of Wands. And this is him in reverse. He's not making any moves or taking any action. Okay. All right, so let's look for it. Okay, well, we got the Six of Swords. All right, we got the Six of Swords. You moving on from this situation. You letting it go, okay? Maybe some of you guys are decided, you know, how are losing a little bit of faith in the situation. We got the Star card. It's here in the reverse. All right, so this is losing faith. This is losing hope, okay? So maybe you just lost faith or lost hope in this situation, okay? So you just decided to, to you know, move on from it. 
Well, we got the three of cups, okay? So there could be three people involved, okay? We got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, is energy. We got the Moon card here, you guys' energy again, okay? And the outcome being, we got two cards that want to jump out. We got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Capricorn. Um, but this is something new to somebody, and, it, and it's like they're taking their time, okay? Because the Ace of Cups is definitely something new, okay? Something new and fresh. The Knight of Pentacles is that it's just moving at a snail's pace <laughs> is what I'm getting here. Let's see. What's the, what's the outcome? Woo. Yeah, look, we got the Knight of Swords. <laughs> somebody rushing okay so we just had like slow moving energy and then we got the pace being picked up okay yeah because see look it's like i'll do it move out of the way i'll do it queen of cups which is you guys energy pisces can scorpio and the fool so this is a new start a new jump a leap of faith okay and this is just like jumping out there jumping out there i do want to see why the three of cups is here why is the three of cups here for pisces The Nine of Swords, okay? Is there any uh, worries about finances with the Ace of Pentacles? Um, a new opportunity? Something to that nature? Because I'm getting two of Pentacles as well. This could be possibly, you could be worried or um, a little frustrated in regards to finances, okay? Because it looks like things are something slow is slowing down with the Knight of Wands. It's in the reverse. So it's kind of like things are kind of like slowing down, okay? Yeah, Ten of Wands and the reverse and the world. And then we got the King of Cups in the reverse. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But something is like slowing down and you're starting to get worried. You're worried. Like it's like it was fun and then now all of a sudden it's, you're worried. Why is the Nine of Swords here? That's the Nine of Swords. That Knight of Pentacles keeps wanting to reveal it. So, why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, Two of Swords. Okay. Okay, so I see it. You're not trying to be worried about money. You're not trying to be worried about where money is going to come from. You're not trying to be worried about how you're going to get things done. Okay, yep. See, look, Nine of Cups is in reverse. This is saying that I don't want, okay. Two of Swords. Don't. I don't want to be worried. I want to be able to celebrate, have fun. I feel like you want something to be fun. You want something to be um, more of a fun vibe than a stressful vibe. Okay. Let's see. Why is the Six of Swords here? Because I see you moving, moving on from a situation or there's possible travel in the near future. Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, yeah, we got the Knight of Wands here. So there's possibly like a trip here, a short distance trip with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. So it's like a quick trip back and forth. We got two of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe you guys are um, getting ready to go on a, some type of trip. Okay, Knight of Swords. What's the Knight of Swords here? Okay, <laughs> the temperance card. I'm getting like, hurry up. <laughs> I'm getting that someone is also spying and watching. Um, You may not know that they're watching you. But I feel like you guys got a spy here as well too. Okay, your intuition was telling you to wait to say wait to say something. Okay. Your intuition, you didn't listen. I feel like some of you didn't listen to your intuition. Your intuition may have been telling you to wait to um uh say how you feel about this and think about it, but I think you've already been thinking about it. Okay. 
I think this is something that you've already been thinking about. Yeah. See, whatever this is, this is some, something, some of you guys in the past, this is a, a new uh, connection. This is something new. You could be like in a new relationship because I got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups and wanting to come out again, okay? And I feel like you're wanting to invest here with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is most definitely, you know, planting your seeds, okay? And being patient. I feel like you've been patiently waiting for something new. And I feel like once, yeah, see, look, we got the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. So most definitely, like, these two cards together is definitely about abundance, okay? Uh, being fruitful and, um, you know, just being abundant. The Seven of Pentacles energy is most definitely planting those seeds and waiting for your harvest. The Empress is all about harvest, okay? She's all about abundance and manifestation, okay? So I feel like you... And I see you here. You don't want to regret it later. Yeah. For some of you guys, this is a new relationship. Um, and now you may be questioning it. You're not sure if, you know, if things are going to, the pace of it is going to pick up. But I, I definitely see, like, you don't want to look back and regret it later. So that was your past energy. Like, you're like, uh, I don't know. Because the last time I did something like this, it didn't turn out too good. And I feel like... You just weren't listening to your intuition on this. Because I got the high priestess in reverse. And that's most definitely like not listening to your intuition. Why is the high priestess here in the reverse? See? Something... Your intuition is telling you that somebody is going to, like, surprise you, um, like, something out of the blue. Like, your intuition was telling you that maybe this is going to blow up in your face. Um, we got the tower here and the page of swords. Yeah, see, I got the devil and the king of swords, okay? So, someone here is kind of, like, mean and uh, possibly wears a mask. With this devil card here, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, I'm getting money hungry too. With the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Like someone is like kind of like, you know, kind of mean here. <laughs> and I'm also getting that possibly like there's been like someone could have possibly cheated. We got the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Somebody could have most definitely possibly cheated. Okay. So you, I feel like you, you thought you took some time to think about something, but your intuition is telling you to avoid it. And I feel like maybe you do avoid it with the six of swords. Okay. Cause I got you guys moving on. Or for some of you guys, this is a trip. Okay. This is some type of a uh, short distance trip, maybe a, an hour, two hour trip. Why is the moon card here? The world. Okay. Let's see. Your fear is possibly that some some type of argument or disagreement is going to pop off in some way, shape, or form. Why is the world here? Emperor and the sun. You could be dealing with the Aries or you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, but I feel like somebody here could possibly be very controlling and manipulative. See, look, I, we got the same energy again. Okay, I'm getting that somebody here started a fight. Okay, and the news traveled, and it's kind of like shocking news here. But I do feel like I, I'm supposed to be seeing why the high priestess is in reverse. Why is the high priestess reverse? Yeah, <laughs> your intuition may have been telling you to stay single, okay, because possibly you are still healing from 
something from previous with this three of swords but i feel like some of you went ahead and took a leap of faith i feel like some of you already took a leap of faith could it most definitely be with a water sign like yourself pisces cancer scorpio here with this king of cups you got the three of pentacles here um there could be three people involved in this situation Someone here is looking at their options, okay? Um, this could be business, a business partnership here as well, too, with the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. This is about keeping a job. This is about keeping income coming in, okay? But somebody is, is lying about their options here, okay? Someone is like... That's lots of different options, okay? Too much going on in front of them with the Seven of Cups here. It's a lot going on. Okay, yeah. You feel like this person is there ready, okay? With the nine of swords, you you're not trying to you. I feel like you was living good, okay. You was got the three of cups of energy. You was living it up <laughs> a lot, but now there's like some type of strain or worry here, and maybe you feel like someone isn't prepared or isn't ready, or you feel like you are ready, okay. Yeah. Let's see what messages the angels got for my Pisces. And then I'm going to let my Pisces go. What message is there for Pisces for the month of June? For the month of June, what messages are there for Pisces? For the month of June. Pisces. Oh, we got reconsider. And then look what we have at the bottom of the deck. We got listen to your intuition. And I feel like it's in the reverse. You didn't listen to your intuition. Your intuition was possibly telling you to wait. Okay. Your intuition is telling you to wait on something and that you need to reconsider. There's something that you need to reconsider, Pisces. I feel like, okay, we got remain positive, okay, so keep a positive standpoint, but I feel like some of you guys need to reconsider something. I really do feel like some of you just did not listen to your intuition. You jumped on something, um, and you may kind of like look at it later like, dang, I should have listened to my intuition. Okay, so within the next few months, something here is, is happening here. I got asked from help from others. It's up to you. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Why is reconsider here? Yeah. I feel like you had to make some big changes. Reconsider this, this partnership, this relationship. Okay. I feel like some of you uh, had to make some changes because we got the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, it's in the reverse. But there was some changes that needed to be made. Um... That I feel like hasn't been spoken on. We got the death card and the page of wands. So there's something that hasn't been spoken on about some changes or something in regards to this union or partnership or business partnership that's, that's going on here. Something about reconsider. Something needs to be adjusted or changed. Okay. Yeah, see, look. We got a three of swords. Somebody here is, needs to let go of some pain. Okay. With the four of pentacles in the reverse. Um, somebody needs to let go of some pain. I got the four of wands and two of pentacles. Somebody's bouncing energies around or someone is going back and forth between homes or businesses. Um, and they're carrying around this, this negative energy. Okay. 
somebody is like trying to be successful and trying to do something big by walking away but i do feel like um somebody is bouncing some energies off okay we got the two of pentacles and the four of wands somebody's going between two homes or something in that nature okay and somebody's still holding on to something that they need to let go of um for this for this union to work okay so let's get remain positive Ooh. Okay, so I got, like I said, I feel like we got the um, star sign here, which is Aquarius's energy. But this is losing faith. I feel like you're going to be losing faith in this situation because I feel like somebody here is just very, very mean. Okay, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius's energy. And they are... Huh, I'm getting jealous energy. I'm getting um, backstabber energy. Like, I'm just getting a bad vibe off of somebody. Okay? And somebody's trying to remain positive even when somebody's doing them bad. That's definitely what I'm getting. Why is within the next few months here? Yeah? Okay, you're going to have a decision that you have to make within the next few months okay we got the seven of cups okay all right so let's see why is the seven of cups here Ooh. okay so you're gonna have to make a decision on picking up the pace on something okay because we got the knight of swords here this is things picking up and things happening fast because you feel like someone's not prepared and not ready Okay, and it could possibly be on working, it could possibly be on um, building something together. Um, but the Three of Pentacles is most definitely about coming together, uniting, and working on something together. It's in the reverse, so something that's supposed to be built up is not working. Okay, something isn't being worked, and somebody is not taking any action either. Okay, they're not taking any action. Let's get some messages from the blunt truth. Let's see how they feel. Ooh, okay. All right, they got a message. And look at this at the bottom of the deck. I'm sorry for lying to you. <laughs> I do believe, I do listen to what you say and try to find a solution within myself. Okay. So maybe you're going to find out something. So maybe something comes to the light. Um, but they, they, the me the message that they have is, I do listen to what you say, and I do try to find a solution within myself. Okay, so that's the message that I have for Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, the information is going to be in the drop box below. All right, and I will chat with you guys later. Ciao.